Tonight, I'm gonna to show you everything you need to make a super delicious, super easy cashew brittle. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Sometimes I make treats for a special occasion. Sometimes I make treats based on your requests. Tonight's treat is just something I wanted to make, so let's get to it. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own cashew brittle, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. And if you stick around after the recipe, I'll give you a contest update. For this recipe, I used one stick of unsalted butter, one half cup of water, two cups of sugar, one third cup of light corn syrup, two and a half cups of roasted and salted cashews, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and some flaky sea salt as a topping. I also used two large baking sheets, some parchment, a large saucepan, a spatula, and a thermometer. Okay, let's make some candy. Line both baking sheets with parchment. Add the butter, water, sugar, and corn syrup to a saucepan over medium-high heat. Stir until the sugar is dissolved. Once the mixture comes to a boil, put a lid on the pan to wash any sugar from the sides. After about a minute, remove the lid and put the thermometer in the pan. Make sure the tip of the thermometer doesn't touch the pan to prevent false temperature readings. When the mixture reaches 280 degrees, stir in the cashews. Some recipes have you add the nuts right before you pour the mixture into the pan. I like to add it a little early so it can get back up to temperature before the transfer. Continue cooking, stirring constantly until the mixture reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit, also known as the hard crack stage. Remove the pan from the stove and remove the thermometer from the pan. Stir in the vanilla and the baking soda. The baking soda is a kind of leavening agent, like the yeast in bread making. It puffs the mixture up a little bit so it's not too hard to chew. Pour the mixture onto the lined sheet pan. Spread it out with a spatula. Place the remaining sheet of parchment over the mixture, place the other pan on top, and press firmly. Protect your hands because this top pan is going to get very hot very quickly. I learned this trick from my hero, Alton Brown. Remove the second pan and parchment because you skipped over the step that tells you to add the sea salt. Sprinkle some sea salt over the mixture. Add the parchment and second pan again and press the salt into the mixture. You won't need to take these extra steps if you actually follow the recipe as written. Let it cool to room temperature, then break it into pieces. And that's it. If you're enjoying this video and would like to become a true compadre, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the channel. I'd love for you to join me on this confectionery caravan. Slanchava! Oh, this is sublime. You heard the crunch. 
It's perfect. The baking soda keeps from being so hard that it hurts your teeth, but it still shatters when you chew it. And the caramelized sugar and vanilla and nuts and salt team up to give this the exact flavor combination I wanted. If you're looking for an amazing brittle recipe, you really ought to try these. If you're enjoying this video and would like to come up... If you're looking for an amazing... Team up to give this the exact flavor... We'll receive enough food. I don't even have. If you watched last, if you watched last week, 